All right, folks, come on down. I've got some more fun and exciting news for all of you. I lost another controller to the Xbox 360's incapacity to create good controllers. So since the controller was already on its way out, it's destroyed, and now I have to use this one, which kind of turns left, but doesn't really turn right. So, yeah, in order to make this a little bit more challenging than it needs to be, I'm going to be playing this game with a defective controller. And right away, I have an enemy that's on the right side, where it doesn't really turn much. See? See? So we're going to have some real fun now. Oh yeah, this is going to be great. Well, anyway, here we go. I was playing this game with another character earlier on. And um, the controller just completely stopped wor working. And now I'm stuck with this controller. So I fucking despise the Xbox 360. I want to get rid of it. This is the fourth controller I've gone through since I've gotten this console. The third console I've gone through. It's $60 to get a new one. I'm not getting a new one. Fuck you, Microsoft. I want to get rid of this piece of shit. And uh, when I'm done playing this game, I will never have another game to play through for you guys, so you don't have to worry about it. And upon saying all that, let's go to this optional area that I always go to. And oh, hi. Forgot about you guys. All right, so this area is optional. What are, what's my other? Okay, we're going to change that. This area is optional, but it's got a pretty, a pretty um, interesting weapon that we're going to use. No one has figured out how to get to that part yet, from what I can tell. So we're going to go down here, and we're going to take care of some business. Now, you'll notice where we are in the grand scheme of things. If you look over here, that's the way back. That's the way we, we use to get here. But now we want to go and jump over on this side because there's an item. Wow, that was weird. <laughs> it worked anyway. It was a human effigy. How many do I have? Five. Mm, I might think about actually using one. I might think about it. I love hoarding things. So now we're going to drop down here. There's a guy down here. Be careful with these drops. They're pretty, they're pretty far. Oh, hi. Oh, go rot. Now, we want to go back down this way. If I can turn there, we go. I'm going to go back down this way. I'm really sorry about this. I, I really am. I mean, I got through a pretty dangerous area the, through the other playthrough with this controller, so I'm thinking I can do it, especially with lock-on. But we'll see. All right, so we got Soul of the Lost Undead and another torch, which... Oh, hi. You just kind of showed up there, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take out my time. Fuck. Oh, come on, man. Just fucking stab. You know, really. Died twice already. Motherfucker. That's another problem I have with this game. No, it, does, it takes forever to, to adjust anything. Like, if you want to go back to two-handed from one-handed, it's, it's, it's impossible almost. It takes fucking forever. Alright, well, back in the optional area. Now, wait a minute. There's a guy there. Be careful when you drop there, because as you can see, it doesn't extend. He said extend all the way. That would have been a stupid move. That would have cost me a bunch of souls so early in the game. And I wanted to do a plunging attack. Oh, you just... Let me guess. Ooh, bandit's knife. Yeah, I'll be doing a lot with that. Let's actually change to the dagger. Well, at least we don't have to drop down there. God, I'm so fucking pissed.
Yeah, I'm gonna... Here. Right through you. Damn it. Die twice. I'm gonna have to use that effigy. I usually wait until I'm like at, at half health before I start using my effigies. Just because... Just because. Alright, so there's this dude here. Don't forget this guy. And then this dude. And then this dude. That's another difference between... Wow, I'm really... I'm gonna get killed again. Look at that. <laughs> I can't get through this one fucking part. This is great. That's another difference between... Um, this game and Dark Souls 1. You can pick up your souls... Without having to like... You know, in Dark Souls 1, you couldn't be blocking. You couldn't be doing anything. You had to just walk to the souls and pick them up. This one, you can be blocking, strafing. You can do whatever and you can pick... Alright, I'm really dying a lot here. Okay, so anyway, let's repeat the process. Now, in this game too, another aspect that got a lot of hardcore players pissed off is in this game, if you kill these enemies like six times, they don't come back. Unless you use a bonfire aesthetic and bring them back. They will not come back. That's really what the bonfire aesthetics are for. The bonfire aesthetics are to make each area a little bit more difficult. So if you burn a bonfire aesthetic, you'll be able to respawn the enemies after however many times it is. I think it's six. I'll stop off about six or seven. So if you wanted to, you know, do your, uh, your farming. All right, take it easy, bro. All right, why don't you just fucking calm down? Really, you guys are making this a little bit more difficult than it needs to be. Let's pop, uh, yeah, I got all of them. Let's go double-handed. <clears throat> and we go down here. I'm going double-handed because I want to just jet. Whoops, I didn't want to do that. <clears throat> uh. I want my souls. You're the one making my life miserable, so I'm gonna kill you. Some flask. I'll say it again. I went through this whole part without dying once in my last playthrough, double handing a um, a mace the whole, t the whole way. So I don't understand why this is becoming quite the issue, but it is. Now, do I have any more? I do have throwing knives, which is good because I want to use them. Punk, punk. Oh, hi. You want to come that? Oh, yeah. These enemies always find a way to hit you. Except when I do this. Then they don't. Alright. Now, there are a couple more enemies still hanging around here. So you gotta be careful when you go through this cave. I don't know why there are statues. Like, why there's stoned anything. Because there's nothing here that can turn you into stone, from what I can tell. But let's go over here and let's get rid of some of these dudes first. Now this is just a little side area. That, nothing really more to this than what you see. You see a big flame here. And there is an item here. And I think someone's going to pop up behind me with some life gems. There's somebody up there. Uh, this is just going to take you back to where... Pretty much where we came from. The one good thing about dying a lot is that you will get a bunch of souls. And I love my souls. Yeah, this basically, this just takes you back where you, we came. So, but where is that area? See what happens? The more you die, and if you don't revive your humanity, you're going to become more and more hollow looking. So even if, you're, um, if your character is a woman or a man with a full head of hair, you're going to look like you have no hair left. Yeah, we gotta find. You would have to actually go up on top of this hill if you wanted to get that that item. I think you can, but it'll be much later on. Now, before we go that way where the fire is, we're gonna go this way. And like I said, be careful because they're gonna come up behind. Just keep your camera there. It actually, happens when we pick up this item. It's just a hollow soldier helm. It's not a big deal, unless I got rid of them. Eh, I guess I got rid of them. All right. Now, interesting part here. If you've watched any other playthrough, you know what I'm talking about. 
There is a massive fire salamander that is creating this flame. It's going to spit out a fireball that's going to explode. Now we have some room to move here. See, right there. So we're going to pick up this item. And now here, there's going to be... Yep, there it is. There you are. I knew you were coming sooner or later, you bastard. And there's your friend. And you're going to get the same... No, uh, maybe not. But in this area, for a, a, a warrior like this character, this is a pretty good weapon. So now just be careful here, because this enemy is far beyond us. Let's spit out its fire. Just make sure you know where it, the first explosion pops. So then you know, because we want to get into that door over there. So now we're going to go run, open it, and dive in quick. Now, just in case, just hit the treasure chest. I mean, it's not a, a mimic, but just hit it anyway. And we're going to get our other, our next weapon, the Fire Longsword. Fire Longsword is like the longsword that we have now, only it has fire damage. So, uh, take a look. I mean, it's kind of weak on its own. Actually, you know what? Screw this. Let me get rid of you. I don't need a dagger right now. It's kind of weak on its own, but it does fire damage. So, we're going to use it for a specific enemy. But now we got to get out of here. So when, when it explodes like that, just run out. And we're done with this side area. We're done. we got nothing else to do here. Nothing to see here. I don't know why it took me two, chan two tries, but alas, there it is. And we're going to climb back up here. And if you're wondering why I'm not leveling up, it's because I don't feel like it yet. I don't level up until I'm done with the first boss. The first boss we're going to get into, I'm not going to say... What, what its difficulty is, because I've made that mistake too often, and I've gotten killed. Now, I'll let you know that I'm a lot more used to a warrior than I am any other class. But, that doesn't mean anything to me. Hello. So, this is the area, this is where we first came up from. If you want, you can go back and kill these other hollows. They're really not a big deal. Now, remember, when you double, when you do strong attacks... It degrades the durability of the weapon faster. Let's get this guy's attention. You know you want to come over here, and you know you want me... Oop. To... Oop. Yeah, that's nice. Just stab him, shit. Just because I like... Harvesting souls. I love when they just, like, they hit you somehow, and you can't understand why. But meanwhile, like, I'm hitting the wall. Fucking, that's fair. <laughs> Alright, so anyway. So we want to go back up. Um, let's put our shield up. Now let's get our throwing knife out because we know what's going on here. We got the dude up there throwing firebombs. We got the dude over here shooting arrows. He's going to move away to bait us over, but we're going to chuck these knives at this guy. Oh, that hurt. Oh, that hurts! Alright, let's get our life gems out just in case. Run over here. You know the routine. Yeah, shoot an arrow while I'm right in front of you. Jesus. You'd think I learned my lesson. Come on. Ah! Pop us a life gem. Yeah. There we go. Now you're dead. Ooh, and I got my life gem back. Uh, just for fun, let's kill this fucker. Just because I'm, I'm bored, I want to have some fun. Hi, fucker. Now, you can try to parry these guys. I mean, I don't really feel like trying to parry these guys. Not until I get my... my Vitality up a bit. But we're going to move further along now. We're going to return back where we came from. And, uh, I mean, so far it's not really bothering me, this this controller. I, I like to just rest at the bonfire to get all my f flask uses. Let's see, do I have any? Nope. I was just trying to see. The way you empower your, uh, your Estus flask is you need something called Sublime Bone Dust, which makes you go... Boon dust. So, down this ladder is where we're going to go next. 
slide down. And as you can see, our bane, those fire salamanders, they're all down there. Sooner or later, we're going to go down there and we're going to kill them. All right, now we got a guy here, but don't go running over to him because he's got a halberd and there's another dude sitting there waiting for us to come by. So let's just get rid of this dude first. Takes him forever to swing. And now we're going to kill this guy who's sitting around doing nothing. Come on, stop loafing around. Okay, now, we've got a couple ways we can go. We can go this way, if I can walk straight. And there's another dude lying down here. What we can do is we can double hand our weapon and stab downwards, I think. Yep, and then poke, and you're dead. As you can see, you don't really have to worry about parrying or whatever. These guys are easy to kill. So all the lost undead. They're easy to kill even though I've been killed so many times by them already. This door is locked. We need a key to get it. We will get the key when we beat the first boss. But we haven't gotten there yet. Our goal is over here. But as you can see, there is a gate that cannot be opened from this side. So we have to go to the other side. How do we get to the other side, old oh bookman? Oh, great sage of Dark Souls who sucks ass at it. Quite simply, we'll go this way. There's another door that we can't open. It is locked. With, with the same key that we're going to need for the other place. There's a guy hanging here. Stab him. Stab him. If you don't know where they're coming from, they will pop up and kill you. If you do, they're not a problem at all. Down here is where we're going to go next. Okay. This area is loaded with enemies. So we're going to run up here quick. We're going to go over here, and we're going to take care of business. Not This this area right here is, is not what I'm talking about. It's the area below. Yeah, nice swing, dude. And we got this dude with the halberd. Let's whip out the throwing knife. Schlink. I only got two of these. Oh, shit. Okay, let's not mess around with these. Halberd wielders are pretty easy. You can just poke them. Poke. That's what I like about the longsword, that thrust. Now we got an interesting situation here. Now if we had fire arrows, we could take care of this a lot easier. We can just shoot those barrels. Instead, we got this dick wad throwing firebombs and doing a horrendous job of it. So we got to bait him and throw him here. Oh, look at that. Nope. Didn't do it. Ouch. Right here, pal. See, he can't hit shit with it. Come on. Come on. Right here. Right here. Come on. Come on. a boy. Did that do it? God damn it, you suck. Now, if I had a firebomb, I could do it, but I don't. Come on. Did that get it? Jesus, God. And they have an infinite supply. They just keep chucking them. Come on. Right here. Still can't hit this spot, huh? Come on. Come on. That must have got it. Still no? Keep stabbing the air, pal. Oh, you're gonna die. Yeah, there are two guys hanging down there, but I just want to get this dude to blow this place open. Because this is a shortcut to the bonfire, so you don't have to go all the way around and everything. Come on, right here. Come on. Did that get it? God, you suck ass, bro. Dude, like, this is the easiest thing to do is just hit this spot. There we go, finally. See? So if you go here, look at that. We're right back to the bonfire. Let's rest here because I used an Estus flask and I don't like doing that. Okay. Now, if we go back here, that same dick nozzle will still be up there throwing firebombs. You still got the two guys down here. But instead of going that way, we're going to go this way. And we're going to go back down that tree branch. Hi. Bye. Uh, now, if you climb up here, you're going to notice another boss that's going to be coming soon. He's going to fly over on his eagle or whatever that is. We don't have to worry about him yet. And we can't get to the dude with... The we can't get to the dude with the uh, firebombs because he's on this, like, ledge. Now, you could jump off like that. Yeah, stab three times if you like it. 
Little sliver of health, I see. No, you don't. Now there's one more guy here, as you know. Let's see if we can... Oh, look at that. You're just giving it away, aren't you? That guy's giving away for free. And he's dead. All right, so let's go down this tree branch. This area, is, like I said, has got a lot of enemies, but it's got a lot of items, and items that we're going to find useful. So now what we're going to do is we're going to climb back up here, and we're going to have to drop down... Oh! Oh, boy. And drop down here. Drop down here. And drop down here. And drop down here. And drop down here. And drop down here. Wow, I like when they just show their back to you. Like, hey, you want to kill me? Yes, I do, actually. There's another guy there that just dropped down for no reason, because he's a moron, probably. Um, come on. You know you want to come here. Now, they'll, if you can't drop into that water, that water will kill you. You would think that somebody that's undead that can't be killed uh, wouldn't die so easily, but apparently you can. Now, since we have no arrows, this is going to be a little bit of an issue. Very nicely done. Now my turn. What'd you drop? Anything good? Wood arrow. Too bad I don't have a bow I can use. Oh, I have a bow. I just can't use it. I like doing the backstab, it makes it a lot easier to kill. Now we've got a dick shooting arrows here, we've got a couple enemies over there. I ran out of uh, distance weapons, of which I didn't really have much, but just keep your shield up. Bait this dude to come out to you, because you don't want to be fighting him with arrows, shooters, at the same time at this point. Now I'm, I can show you the shield break, let's see if I can get this guy to come all the way down here. Away from the arrows. There. Very nice, oh Jesus, you can still hit me? That's alright, I can hit your friend. Ooh. That wasn't good. Uh, yeah, I'll just use that. Now, we got another situation. If you want, you can go down... Actually, you know what? I should do that first. Down here... is another enemy, but another item. Hi! They're kind of slow and stupid, so you can pretty much just whack them. This is a torch, which is good to have. To have! But if you try to drop down there, you'll die. Jesus. So we're going to go this way. And roll off that. Bink. Uh, let me get my... No. Let me get my... Now I can't... Actually, I realize I can use two hand. Nah, I still can't. Okay, this is also, this isn't really, eh, it's kind of optional, but I like to do it because of all the items. You're going to need these puppies. Alright, so now that we got that little spot, we can get this little spot by running and jumping, which I'm going to do. I just barely made it. Um, and then if you drop down here, if I can turn my camera, there we go. Don't go down there, that's death. But through here... ...is actually nothing. Why did I do that? I thought there was something there. Anyway. Alright. Back to the top. <laughs> okay, let's do what we gotta do. <clears throat> Alright, what you gotta do in this area now, since I don't have any arrows with my... Well, since I can't use my bow, I'm just gonna run here. Now over there is a guy shooting arrows as well, so just get to this edge. Wait for him to shoot. Then run and jump. And do your backstab. Hello. Oh. Okay. Wait for him to shoot an arrow so he has to gear up for another one. Now we're going to meet another non-playable character who has another interesting thing. But first, before I do that, let's climb up this ladder and kill this fucking dick that's shooting his arrows at us. Because it's just getting really, really irritating right now. Especially since I can't look around. <laughs> Hello, arrow guy. Oh, that was rude. I mean, I don't know. What do you think? I, I, I prefer that, that run through with that noise. Just because it sounds like uh, the Sideshow Bob noise with the rake. All right, we got to find a way out of here, out of these ramparts. It's right here. Now, there is an item down there somewhere. We can get to it. It's not a problem. Don't worry. 
If I can turn my camera. Where is it? It's down there somewhere. Anyway. Now, that item we're going to get to in just a second. But first, got to jump down here. Just be careful about the edge. Not the edge from the... from... You too. All right, let me just make sure. I know I can get down there and get that item. I'll save that for last. In here, be careful. Don't just start walking through because a boulder is going to get pulled, get rolled down and kill somebody. Where is it? See that item? Yep, see, there it is. Now, good thing for us it kills the enemy that pushed it because he's a moron. He's... Up here, he is... Now, down here is nothing. Okay, just... So you know, I'm just going to show you. Down here, nothing but blood stains. If you look down there, nothing. So don't go down there. Go up here, where the boulder came from. And we're going to meet... This dude. He also is... Very mouthy and wordy and talkative. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just... Daydreaming, I think. My name is Kale. I am a traveler, like yourself. I'm navigating the continent to create a map. Why cartography, you ask? Well, um, that's a good question. When I first came to this forsaken land, it was... Um... Uh, uh, a curse? Uh, something about a curse? <laughs> How embarrassing. I seem to have lost my focus. But I do know one thing for certain. I have always been very fond of maps. I came to this land some time ago. Dranglik, the Lost Kingdom. It sounded so romantic. Have you seen Majula? Oh, there's a rather spacious mansion there. I've made it my temporary home. Well, as something of a squatter, I'm afraid. Inside the mansion, I found a strange map, like none I'd ever seen. I believe that it's a map of Drang Lake. Now I'm traveling the land to prove it. Yes. Yes, that's it. That's why I came to the kingdom. Wait. No. That wasn't it. Then what? I don't seem to recall. Were you looking for that map? Wonderful. Then you're fascinated by maps. Just like me. Shame on you. You should have told me before. Here, take this. A key to the mansion. What a joy to meet a kindred spirit out here. Incredible, really, isn't it? Such a map to be chiseled in stone. Oh, but one thing. I would not venture deep into the mansion. Now, I can't be certain, but I've heard disturbing noises. Something about it feels wrong. Just be careful, please. I'll be back in Majula soon. Perhaps we will meet again and discuss maps at our leisure. I'll be back in... It's leisure, Kale. Now, he's an interesting character in the sense that he might be somebody else that we're going to... that's related to somebody that we're going to run into. He might be. I don't know for sure. I don't know about all the lore. Don't fall down there. I don't know about all the lore involved in Dark Souls 2 and all the connections. It just seems as though in this game everyone's connected in some form or another. Now, the reason why he's forgetting everything is because he's going hollow. Now, I can't talk because I'm already hollow. Okay, so we're going to go back the way we came. And now I got to see... 
how I can get down here. Well, not that way. So that mansion he was talking about is the place that's locked in Majula. Majula locked, Majula locked. So we're going to go back there and we're going to see what he's talking about. It's really not that big a deal, but we're going to do that after we finish with this particular thing. Alright, so let me think. Where is that item? I know, I know it's there. Is it there or is it here? I mean, I can easily get down there and check it out. Oh yeah, there it is. Um... Oh yeah, I gotta go... No, duh. <laughs> That's why I dropped down there. I feel like hell. I can't remember why I do anything. That's why I did it. No, wait, that's not it. Sue. So... Alright, so if we go down this way, we will be able to get these items, or this item. The other item is on the other side, which we'll get to. It's a Titanite Shard. Very important to upgrade equipment, weapons, and armor, and such. Now we're going to get back up here. We're going to go back the way we were going before. If I can... There. Okay, actually, wait. I want to go up. Yeah, as you can see, this controller is just... Horrendous. Just absolutely horrendous. <laughs> I really did not want to have to use this controller, but... Like, I have no choice. Like, even, even turning left is becoming an issue now. You know what? Instead of, like, constantly going in circles, let me actually get to where I'm trying to get to here. Oh, this is going to be fun. I have to get up that, that branch. I actually have to... Alright, nothing like going up there again. This is what I'm saying, I'm not... Oh yeah, duh. Jesus, God. <sighs> now, let's go up here. And guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back to the bonfire. And why am I going to go back to the bonfire? Because I want to go back to the bonfire. So let's run past all this madness. Ooh. That one got close. Uh, you know what? Let's use a human effigy. Fuck it. I've got six. Now look at all those soul items I have. Back to our old pretty self. And as you can see right away, summon signs, summon signs. Everybody wants to be summoned around here for some reason. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go down this way. Watch out for the dude throwing firebombs. Come over here. Stab this guy a couple of times. Watch out for the guy that's coming behind you. Please stop. And when I pull out a shield, watch, you can do, you can do that. And then, you actually can do like a, it's almost like a backstab, if you get it right. But I couldn't do it. Alright, so now down this ladder, there's just so much to do in this ladder. Known as Drunglik. There's a guy there, but before we do that, let's just bait these dudes to start shooting and coming out and... 
If you time it right, you can get that guy to come out. Now the four of them are going to come out. Okay, and you. Oh, stop. You. <laughs> and I think there's one more. Is there one more? Well, they were shooting these ballistas, as you can see. And this area is filled with items. Great Soul Arrow, which is good for sorcerers. Large Soul of a Lost Warrior. And a Blue Wooden Shield, which sucks balls, so I'm not going to use it. You can shoot these ballistas, by the way. Really no reason for it. Alrighty now, do I have... Now, if we go down this ladder... Climb the ladder. Let me just make sure there's nothing on... Nope. Just gotta make sure there's nothing on every end, every corner. Just double check. You never know. And I'm pretty sure there's nobody here. But I could be wrong. If you want, you can light that torch. Makes no difference. But it makes little difference. This door does not open from this side, but we're going to get to that other side soon. And as you notice, there is this weird looking face thing. This is a Pharos lock box or lock switch or whatever. It needs Pharos lock stones, which I do not have any of. I could have bought one from the character up there named Melentia, but I didn't want to. This is nothing but is a trap in here, so be careful. When you see the green smoke, roll out of the way. It's poison smoke. It will poison you immediately. If you see white, put your shield up. It's another Titanite shard. <clears throat> the white will be arrows that shoot at you like a crossbow. The green is green smoke. Just roll out of the way. Near, I'm going to take out my fire sword. Why? Because there's a particular enemy here that is weak to fire. But before we get to him, let's talk to this fine gentleman. Actually, we don't need this yet. This is Pete. Hello there. Traveling all alone in these treacherous times. Well, I hope you have a very good reason. Oh, hogwash. Who am I to judge? <laughs> My name is Pate. I journey hither and thither on a sort of treasure hunt, you might call it. Be careful out there. There's talk of unsavory bandits who prey upon travelers like yourself. Oh yes, you be cautious if you go any farther. There's treasure in there for certain, but the entrance locks from behind. I saw the same design earlier, and it's the same contraption, I'm sure. I was with this warrior, you see, and he insisted that he go inside first. <laughs> the rather brusque fellow tried to swipe the loot for himself, but it trapped him inside. I still have the gent's ring. I do hope he wasn't harmed. I'll leave this one to you. I'm worried about what might be inside. I'll leave this... Okay, Pate is not lying. That will lock behind you. But Pate apparently is adept at spinning lies. As Homer is a delightful fella. There are enemies in there. And Pate's going to hang out here and watch you go in there. He baits you into doing things, and when you do them, you get yourself caught. Now, first is a guy here. Get rid of him. There is a guy shooting arrows at us, so just kind of spin away when you can. There he is. Let's get rid of you quick. Okay. Arrow shooter, you're going down. Yeah, big one. Big blow, and you're dead anyway. Whoop. Always go for the thrust when you're fighting those guys. Anyone without a shield, go for the thrust. Now that's pretty much all the enemies that we have in here. So Pate was basically baiting us into something that's not that difficult. Nothing here, just check around. You never know. There might be an item sitting by down. By, by, by and by. Don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Alright, so anyway, we go in here. 
There are more enemies, but there is an item down there. Are there more enemies? Yeah, they're over here. See? Woohoo! Now, there is a dude with a shield, so let's just be cautious of him. And as you can see, that you know what? Take these guys outside. Let's take it outside. I wish I had firebombs or something. Do I have firebombs? I don't think I do. Alright, you're going down quick. Double handing your weapon takes you too long to figure out what you're doing. You're going down quick. Now when it's just you and this dude, he's going to start... See, over in this game, they do leash. Which means they do have, like, a certain distance... Damn it, I want to get it done. They do have a certain distance that they travel before they start heading back the way they came. We get Aromatic Ooze. Aromatic Ooze puts magic buff on your right hand weapon. See how he just kind of backs up now and he just kind of backs up now? There's still an archer up there. Trying to do a shield bash, pal? Yeah, they're like the other enemies that had shields and spears or pikes in Dark Souls 1 where when you strike them with your shield, with your uh, weapon they kind of put the shield down and start attacking you. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. And we got one more guy. Alright, fine. I'll kill you the old-fashioned way. Now, he was talking like there was some kind of treasure. I don't see any kind of treasure other than aromatic ooze. Is aromatic ooze, like, worth all that trouble? Probably not. <laughs> well, let's just double check. I might have missed something. Nope. No, 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 no. All right. So we're going to move along. Now, when we go up here, we'll be, be on the roof. There is an item there, but there are enemies. I believe. Are there enemies? We can't get that item from here. We have to go around anyway. But we got out of that situation. Just double check here. You never know. It might be a, an illusory wall. But now we can go down here. We can drop down, roll down, whatever. And now he's going to have a different comment. Now. E. Well, I see you managed to escape. I hope that brave warrior didn't come a cropper either. Be careful out there. There's talk of unsavory bandits who prey upon travelers like yourself. He's gonna give us an item. Oh. But you should take this. White sign soapstone. I was undead to call out for help to one another across the fissures between worlds. With luck. Somebody will lend you a hand. Well, I see you, man. I hope that brave warrior. Be careful. Okay, so we got a white sign soapstone. White sign soapstone is the white sign soapstone that le that you use to leave your summon sign. You know what? I don't want this helmet. This helmet looks like crap. Now we're talking. And now we're going to go with the flame sword. And the reason why... You see that enemy all the way over there? That enemy is vulnerable to fire. Now what we can do is we can try to bait these guys to hit him with a, fi with a fire bomb. That'll blow the whole place up. But as you can see, they don't throw it where I want them to. 
You just want to kind of bait this guy to come out to you. You just want to kind of bait this guy to come out to you. There we go. Good job, Slappy. Now double hand your weapon and just bait him to swing. When he does that, it slows you a bit. Wait for him to do the fourth swing right there and stab him again. As you can see, he's not very accurate, and he's dead. That's why I, use, I saved that one. Okay, and over here I forgot to get that green blossom. So now, since I don't have any arrows, I'm just going to run this baby. If you look over here, there's actually an enemy sitting here. But this way is a massive corpse of a giant. We can't do anything with it now, but that is going to be one of our end goals in this game. But behind it, Lars Solva lost undead. Sounds like someone's sweeping outside. Alright, so let's get our life gym and let's go back this way. And let's run it. Because if they, if they blow that spot, you're in trouble. Okay, now we're heading to the boss fight. Let's get rid of him quick. Wow, I totally blocked that. I totally blocked that, and I totally blocked that. Fuck fucking you, you fucking undead cunt bag. Okay. And before we go to the boss fight... There's an item here that I think is an item I want to use. No, it's Amber. This guy's going to pop up. Fuck him. Stab him twice. Call it a day. Uh, let's go with this first. There's an enemy up here, as well as an item on this giant sword. See, it does more damage because it's got fire. It get, he dropped the winged spear. I don't care about the winged spear. Halberd and... Ooh, I forgot about you. And I'm dead. Thank you, dick. Fucking cocksucker. You are a fucking cocksucker. <clears throat> you see, like I said, because the volume's down, I can't hear these guys sneaking up on me. Alrighty, well, looks like we got to go back the long way. But we don't have to go down there. We can just go down this way. Ow! Oh. I put the fucking shield up! Now, I'm not going to bother with these guys in there. You only, you only get them to come out when you actually go in that room. I just want to go over here. Well, let me see if I can hit this guy with one of my knives. Yeah, I want to get his attention. Now, he does do like... He, he can do a move that, like, he can follow you around with his overhead chop. But I wouldn't worry about that. Let's bolt. I gotta go up and get my souls back. You know the routine. Stab, stab. Yeah, your third one. Pop this bitch. Oh, you caught me. You little bastard. Alright, where's the other fuck? Let's see if I can nab him. Oh yeah, he kind of drops from up there. Uh...
fucking can you just stab Jesus? Oh, hi. There you are. Fuck you. Two words. All right, let me go get my souls. That's one thing that this game does a lot more often than the other game. A lot of this sneaking up bullshit. Okay, so anyway, let's pop a life gem. And let's get the flask ready, because that's what I want to use. And in here is the boss fight. Well, not actually, it's not like right here. It's, it's here, and then in here is actually a crystal lizard. No, that's not what I did. Oh, god damn it. We get a large leather shield and a life gem again. More shit I don't really want. That shield sucks too. <laughs> There's only one shield I really want right now, and I can't get it yet. But this is the other side of this area that we couldn't go through before. With this item. No! Yes. Ten fire arrows. Very nice. So now we can open this, this gate. Uh, one more life gem. Okay. Now it's Estus Flask time, and now it's Fire Sword time. So you take this little elevator down to the bottom, and the bottom is where the boss fight. Look at that, that item just calling for me. Like, come and get me. Okay. This boss fight is... Oh, hi. I always forget about you. Now this door won't open. Not yet. It's locked. This boss fight, you gotta pay attention. Now, if you're not hollow, you can summon Pate here. But there's no reason for him. giant what you want to do with the last giant is you want to get right here by his legs and you want to avoid that but you want to get behind him you want to get by his legs you don't want to be hit by that like I said it's very slow and deliberate when you get it by half health when you get it down to half health it's gonna start it's gonna rip its arm off and it's gonna start It's going to start whacking with your arm. But again, this thing is more about up front than it is... See, it's going to keep doing that. Just swing once, move out of the way. Ooh, that was bullshit. But as you can see, that swipe really has no range. It can jump back like that, but then just run forward and, and repeat the process. Now, like I said, when it does... It's going to rip its arm off and it's going to start attacking with its arm to give it more range. So like I said, just stay by its foot. Let it do that. When it jumps back, run towards it. It can't hit you with that thing when, it, when you're over here. Get out of the way of that. Whack once. Out of the way. Stay behind it. And right now it's about to die one more whack and it's dead real easy boss fight and it says victory achieved it doesn't say you defeated it says victory achieved we get the soldier key we get the soul of the, lo of the last giant and I'm going to give you all a little bit of a wave hello because right now we're going to stop it here as the last giant has been defeated I will be right back don't you go anywhere.